Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will talk about the update command in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to update data in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. So far in this particular video tutorial series, I have shown you like how to create a database, how to create the tables and then how to insert the data into table and how to select the data. And now one of the most important command is the update command which is used to update or modify the existing data in the SQL Server table. So if you are storing the data, then majority of the time you also need to update that particular data as well. So in this particular video, I will show you how you can update the data. So let me show you one of the table. I got a table here, data underscore backup. So this particular table contains some data. It contains 1000 records, okay. While updating the data in SQL Server table, you should be careful that uh, you should put the where clause if required because if you want put the where clause then you will end up updating all records in that particular table okay so whatever number of records you want to update based on some criteria you can put the condition in the where clause and then you can update the data okay so the syntax to update the data in the sql server is quite simple update and then we need to write the table name so my table name is this one data backup and then we need to write set and the column name so suppose I want to change the practice ID to some value so I can write like practice ID equal to maybe I can put a new value here 100 and then the where clause where uh, row ID equal to 1 so suppose I want to change this value uh, with 100 where row ID equal to 1 okay so now what will happen that this particular record will be updated because the row ID is 1 for this particular record okay so if I execute this query then the one record should be updated okay so this is how you know you can just update a record and in case if you want to update multiple columns then after the first column you can put a comma and suppose if you want to change the email with another email so I can put email equal to and new email so I can put like maybe test at the rate gmail.com okay and now if you execute this one then it will update two columns the uh, practice ID column and the email column okay in the where clause you can put some multiple conditions as well and you can update multiple records as well for example if you want to update the records for the row id 1 2 and 3 so you can put a condition where row id in and then 1 2 3 so this will update the three records okay so if you want to like know like how many records will be updated so before actually running the update query you can run a select query so instead of running an update query first you can run a select query and you can check like how many records will be affected and if you think that the uh, number of records affected are fine then you can just run the update query so let me show you like how we can run the select query for example for this particular case so i can write simply select uh, star from table whatever the table is data backup and then i can use the where clause so this should return with the three records so if I will run the update query then this will also update the three records okay so you can just try to run the select query first before writing the update query and another precautionary thing is that you can run in begin tran before updating the data so a transition will be started then you can update the data and if you think that the data got updated correctly then you can commit the transition otherwise you can roll back the transition okay that I will show you in maybe next videos okay so i think that's it for today's video and i will share this query with you thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much